Hey everybody, it's Dana and welcome back to another card for the Valentine's Day card series. Let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm going to be playing with some products I have not played with in such a long time. And we're going to be using some alcohol inks. So I have a couple colors here that are going to remind me of like coffee because I thought this would be a different color combinations for Valentine's Day and I thought it would be really really cute because I'm a huge coffee fan. All right so let's get into it. I am shaking up my alcohol inks here. I do have an alloy alcohol uh, pearl ink and this is in uh, Smolder and I'm also going to be using just some pure alcohol. The paper I am using is heavyweight Yupo paper. I had this in my stash for a while, but again, like I said, I haven't been playing with these products and I figured let's go ahead and wrap up this card series with something a little different. All right, I went ahead and made sure to take off all of the top so I'm ready to get crafting. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the pure alcohol. This is, I believe, 97% alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and start putting down my latte color, my caramel color, and I'm going to get that to start moving. Now, the thing about working with alcohol inks is you just got to let it flow. You cannot predict what is going to happen with these inks. And I think some way that's the beauty of it, but I also feel like sometimes that can be the frustration in it. So for today's card, I am just going for it. Now I did speed this up, but I'm just using an air blower to blow all of that ink around, not trying to get a solid like design out of it, but just to get the ink moving. Now I did notice on the Yupo paper, I was getting a little bit of a greeny hue, which is quite surprising to me. I did not expect that, but I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and embrace it. So as you can see, I'm adding more and more of that ink, putting down nice big puddles of it so I can get it moving throughout this paper. Now, like I said, I did speed this up some and I did make sure in between to heat set it with my heat gun. Now, anytime you're using a heat gun like this is going to actually dry the ink in place a little bit more than the hand puffer that I'm using. But again, I'm just building up this coffee kind of stain look. Once I have it where I want it, I'm going to bring in a stencil. And this is the Fading Heart Stencil from Simon Says Stamp. I just kind of put it over to see if I had enough ink down. And I need to add a little bit more to the top and the bottom. I'm going to finish off by adding some of that Smolder Pearl in there. And once again, I'm really loading this up with the alcohol. And now I'm going to lay the stencil right on top. I'm just going to press it down. Now this is going to help me achieve some hearts in my background. So I'm just going to lay that there, kind of slide it in so you guys can see a little bit more what I'm doing. And now I came back to my little hand puffer and I'm just going to puff this around trying to dry it a little bit underneath, but I'm really just moving the ink around all behind and on top of that stencil. Now, once I have it where I think I want it, I am gonna hit it with my heat tool. This is going to help dry up some of that ink that's sitting on top. It's sitting where the hearts are. Now there is a lot of ink still behind, but we're gonna deal with that in a couple minutes. At this point, I just wanna dry the heart section just so I have a defined look. So you can see as I pull this up, I still have a lot of that ink underneath, but that's okay because I'm going to go ahead and grab a paper towel, lay that on top and kind of push out the alcohol out from underneath that stencil. Now I will link all the products that I use in the tutorial down below for your shopping convenience. There are affiliate links and I want to thank you in advance if you go ahead and use them and pick up some of these products. Now I can go ahead and pull that back and you see I have this really pretty design of like distressed hearts but I am just going to make sure that this is dry. Now again it's going to still be a little bit wet underneath but I did push out the majority of the ink that's underneath the stencil. Now if you don't want to do this leave the stencil on there overnight 
when it's totally dry, you can come back and just lift this off. But because I don't have the patience for that, I wanted to do this now. I'm going to lift from the top and the bottom and lift up the stencil. And look at those gorgeous coffee hearts we have. How cute is that? They look like my coffee stains are full of hearts. All right, I went ahead and placed the stencil back down and I'm coming in with a point, I believe this is a 0 0.02 micro pen and I'm just outlining the heart. I just wanna have a little bit more definition when I pull this off. Now, as you can see, I am making sure to clean off my pen every now and again to get rid of any buildup that might be on the tip. And I wanna thank everybody who has been subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you're new here, hey, go ahead and like and subscribe so you guys don't miss my next tutorial. All right, I'm just going to finish up those hearts. They don't have to be precise. And I do wanna make sure that I get a good amount of them so when I lift this up, you're really going to see the definition of those hearts. Once again, I cleaned off that tip so I can make sure that pen is gonna be great for another project later. And when I lift this up, Look how pretty those hearts are. You can really see the definition of the hearts. And the stencil laid perfectly on here that it gives me a perfect area to trim down the sides. I went ahead and I trimmed down the sides and I decided I needed to back this onto some chocolate covered cardstock. So this is the um, Earth Color cardstock. This is from Hero Arts. This is part of the Unity Collection line, and it's working perfect for my coffee card today. And I did just want to see if I wanted to go a little bit of a darker brown, but I decided to use the medium brown. I'm going to take this over to my paper trimmer and trim this up. Now it was time to add the sentiment. So I didn't want to stamp on this, so I pulled out my Love Lines dies, and this is from Concord and Knight, and I really love the font on this. It's so pretty. It's really stacked up, and it's going to look gorgeous, and it's really not going to distract from those coffee um, alcohol hearts. So I will go ahead and pull this apart. Now I do want to make sure I keep this combination, this color combination going. So, and I don't want anything to block because you'll see that there's a backer layer to this as well as the top delicate layer. I'm going to die cut that piece out in the same brown color cardstock that I did my backer piece to. So once I run this through my die cut machine, I did cut it a few times and I also cut the backer for the sentiment in vellum. And that helps the sentiment lift off of the card, but it doesn't block any of the hearts. So I really like using vellum when I want to do these types of cards because it just kind of um, mutes out the distraction of the image behind the sentiment, but I don't lose the design behind the sentiment. I hope that makes sense when I say that. So I went ahead and I added in a little bit of my glue here. This is the Gina K Connect, and I am going to make sure to pat this off first onto a piece of scratch paper just to get off any excess glue before I bring it over to that vellum. And that's gonna help to not have that glue like spray all out across the vellum where you'll be able to see that a little bit later. I did use some very fine tweezers here. These tweezers are from Alta New to line that up. And then once I let that go, everything's going to sit perfectly on this vellum. So again, we have a coffee inspired Valentine's Day card totally different color palette than a normal red. And you guys know I like to do that. I like to switch up my color palettes and not keep them so consistent with what we would think Valentine's Day cards should be. But look how gorgeous this sentiment is. I absolutely love it. And it works perfectly because the lines are nice and thin and they're thin just like the lines around our hearts. All right, now it's time to go ahead and put the card together. I will use some Gina K Connect glue as well on this piece here, and I'm going to go ahead and place that down. Now, when I did trim this out, I do have a little bit of a border around my coffee piece, and it just makes sure to have that little bit of brown peeking out behind. 
Now you could just put this directly onto a card panel and the card panel today is going to be a five by seven card panel because this panel right here is very, very large. Now I can go ahead and add the sentiment that we had on top. And in order for me to get this glued, I'm going to go right back to that thin tip bottle. That bottle as well is from Gina K. Go ahead and dot that all the way around the back and that's going to conceal that glue right behind the sentiment. Once I finish that up, I can go ahead and grab and flip this over and place this down. Now, right now I'm just trying to see where I want it. And I think I like it to be a little bit off center, just a smidget. And then once I have it where I need it to be, I can go ahead and start pressing that into place. And we have this gorgeous sentiment that's not covering up a lot on our card. And we still see those gorgeous coffee stained hearts. All right. Now to finish up this card, all I have to do at this point is just put this onto a white card base. But I did use a white gel pen. I don't know if it really picked up in the uh, video. I did use a white gel pen and I just went around the hearts to give them like those little um, highlight bubbles. It might be hard to see in the video, but it is there. Now I have my five by seven card base and I'll go ahead and place this down. So tell me what you think, you guys. Do you like this coffee-inspired holiday card? Did I kind of nail the coffee love here? I am also going to make sure that I do some close-up um, pictures. Those will be over on my Instagram, and you guys can check those out. And that is going to be our coffee-inspired, totally non-traditional Valentine's Day card. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, and I hope you've enjoyed this series. Until we meet again, stay safe and have a great day. Bye-bye.